Must keep in mind, winds go counterclockwise around the low. It's important because winds go clockwise around the high. You put those winds together and you get very strong. Hmm. Upgrades. Good morning, folks. As you try to hold back laughter at my attempts to combine my awesome Celestron with my iPhone 4 camera, I want to assert that Miss Petersons and those at CNN are not alone in mirroring the ways I describe the weather, the same ones that used to piss off my professors due to their overt simplicity. And this is not something to be discouraged. I've always believed that weather was on the precipice of being really understandable by everyone if they just take the complexity away from it. CNN didn't do anything wrong, they just realized the best way to describe that motion. And we're back at Fukushima for another update. We've tracked from catastrophe to debris to cloud radiation to water leaks and back to steam rising from the reactors without an explanation. Look at the clearing drought zones isolated out west. Abatement comes from two straight weeks of northward flow of moisture from the Gulf and eastern Pacific storms. Speaking of which, we have even more development down there ready to make it rain. The eastern Pacific and remaining Gulf system have nowhere to go and only one place to send their water. Meanwhile, Nova Scotia will see Gabrielle tonight be ready, and someone stole Umberto's compass, like a drunkard out there in the East Atlantic. I won't break all these down, but I included the links from last night's news. NASA showing subantarctic warming belied by the surface ice. Also got the Voyager 1 left the system articles for you and the homepage tracking each of them in near real time. Early spring green down under could mean wildfires this summer, while the Atlantic seasonal forecast fail so far is now expected to ramp up. Back to now, took a gamma burst yesterday from the Ares constellation. While solar flaring remains pitifully low and sunspots aren't doing much better really, we are left looking at the solar wind. Soho and Ace both show a speed ramp following yesterday's density spike. It was a minor stream only. If I hadn't pulled the AIA-171 for your background, you'd never see Mercury trying to sneak back onto the Earth-facing disk here. For those following the planets, in just three days, Earth will be opposed by Mercury and Uranus. Meanwhile, Earth will be in the process of watching Venus and Saturn conjoin in the night sky. Looking at coronal hole power via ISWA reveals one strengthening bit up north. This is the positive opening currently on the back side of the Sun. The left half of that faces Earth. And the coronal holes we currently have are sizable and Earth-facing, just not very powerful. Earthquakes seem to suggest the same. Southeastern filament pop and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 625 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.